Welcome back, adorables. Today I am here with my fit pharmacist friend, Laura. Hi. Today we're gonna be making some smoothies for you guys. So you can see how you can make some awesome different kinds of delicious, healthy, nutritious smoothies. What do you wanna do first? Let's do maybe the apple one. Got that chunked up. Okay. And then stick it in here. I don't know if the whole apple will fit in here. That's Am I not? Big okay. Apple. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, I should have brought my blender back. I totally forgot. Mm. Okay, so we can do that. Like blend that first. Okay. Um, sometimes you blend in stages, just depending on <clears> how <throat> thick you want it. I tend to like it a little bit thicker, just because I use it for meal replacements at work when I don't get a lot of time to actually eat real. You know. Do you need eat? to put anything liquid in there? Um, let's put some. Uh, of this in here and then we'll add the banana and the protein powder last so how much um, liquid and fruit it really depends on your calories and what you're going for I usually do a cup and a half of liquid and then whatever fruits and it it's not like super thin uh, but again I like my smoothies a little bit chunky so. And then for the banana. So, so um, far we've got almond milk and apple. Almond milk and together. apple. And then we're going to add the banana. I like to cut up my bananas and freeze them. It makes for a, like a creamier smoothie. Um, and then I also can portion it very easily. So I know that three pieces is a whole banana. Um, and it makes it easier when I'm trying to figure out how much fruit and stuff that I'm putting in it. Um, and then we've got our protein powder. And okay. that depends too mm -hmm. on how much protein that you want to put in it. You don't have to put any, but I, I always put protein in my smoothies. So we'll get one scoop. So you're just using vanilla? Just vanilla on this one. Vanilla protein powder. One scoop yes. or however much you want. Yes. Because that's the best flavor on that. And then you could add um, chia seeds to this too, but on this one I typically don't. Um, sometimes I will add ginger and uh, turmeric, just a tiny, tiny bit. The ginger gives it a little bit of a kick, but it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in. So mm -hmm. for a morning, not so much of a kick. <laughs> yeah, a and that would add some good antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, so then we're done with this one. Do you add ice to it? Um, I don't add ice unless I um, don't put any kind of frozen fruit in there because the frozen fruit kind of makes up that really cold um, portion. Um, and then I also have, um, which these are really easy to go cups. You can get these GNC anywhere. Um, and I pre-make my smoothies. They're good for two days in the fridge. So you can make several at a time and then you don't have any excuse to not have a snack because it's already made and you grab it and you go. Okay, should we try it? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I like your cups. <laughs> mm. That's great. That's good. Mm -hmm. That was like one of my favorites. Yeah, I like the apple taste on it. Okay, so now we're going to do the coconut, pineapple, and banana, which is another one of my mm. super favorites. Um, with the almond milks and the coconut milk, too, just watch because some of them can be pretty high in calories. So this one is unsweetened. However, it is vanilla flavored, so it's a little bit better than the unflavored coconut mm -hmm. milk. Um, I like. And the same with the almond milk, too. Um, and it's lower calorie. It's unsweetened, but it is vanilla flavored. Um, let's see, so we'll do a cup and a half of this too. This has really good fats in it. You do have to be aware, again, of how much you're using. If you use too much of the coconut milk, you can go over your saturated fat requirements for the day, so that's kind of important to recognize that. So that's why I usually do just a cup and a half, and that keeps you under it. I think it's about 18 grams of saturated fat, which is under the recommendation, so you're good there. And then one whole frozen banana. <laughs> Need my goggles on. <laughs> Get splashed. 
and then half a cup to a cup of the frozen pineapple. Just depends on how much carbs that you want for today. You can also add coconut flakes or chia seeds. You wanna, which one do you wanna do? Chia is my favorite. Chia. Mm -hmm. Chias are so like little tiny. They're, they're packed with nutrients. They're awesome. Fiber and protein and all kinds of vitamins and minerals. They are so great for you. And then one scoop of vanilla protein powder. Can I do two tablespoons of chia? Yeah. Okay. And of course you can double these recipes and then you'll have some for the next day. See, it's like very coconutty, sitting on the beach. I think you'll like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good one. It kind of, uh, since the pineapple's in there, it kind of reminds mm -hmm. you of a, like a mixed drink a little yes. bit. Yes. Okay, so last one of my favorites is pretty simple. Bananas, almond milk, chocolate. Um, you can put extra spices in it too, almond flour. This is a really good one after a hard workout because it gives you the carbs that you need from the banana and um, some protein and fats and brings your blood sugar back up so you're not bonking out after a hard workout. So one and a half cups of almond milk again. Yeah, my banana. coach always says um, to make sure you schedule the majority or a lot of your carbs around your workout. So before and after your workouts, to make sure you've fueled your body appropriately. So this is a thumbs up for before or after a workout. Yes, very, very important. Don't skip a snack <laughs> after a workout. You'll just feel worse and you'll have a tendency to overeat later anyway. So now we're using a scoop of chocolate protein, caged mussel. All right, full scoop. We'll do a full scoop. Let's right. go. For it. It'll be Healthy. very chocolatey and delicious. Yes. This this stuff tastes like cocoa. Mm. For real. And you can do almond flour if you want. That gives it just like a nutty taste to it. I like pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice, and then cinnamon spice, nutmeg. You can go crazy with the spices on this one too because it goes really well with uh, chocolate. <laughs> okay. All right. That one is done. Okay. Let's mix it up. Mmm. I like very it. Good. Very chocolatey, banana-y. Mm -hmm. I can taste both flavors. It tastes like a chocolate banana yeah. milkshake. Yeah, I mean, so it's just a, it is a chocolate banana milkshake, and it'll make you feel a lot uh, better after you have a hard workout. I could have put a little bit more of this in there. Mm -hmm. I like this it. Is it good? Yeah. Wow, thanks so much for coming yes. on today and sharing Thank with you us for having me. these smoothie recipes. They're really awesome. I'm going to keep some of these in my bank and try mm -hmm. them out later. Try them out and play around with all the ingredients. The important thing to keep in mind is using fresh fruits, um, the lower calorie uh, almond milk and um, coconut milk and the protein powders, adding that. Uh, you don't have to add the protein powder, but of course, if you're using it after a workout, you wanna get some protein in your system as well as uh, good fruits and fats as well. Yep. And spinach. You can add some vegetables in there. Yes, don't forget your spinach. Greens in, <laughs> micronutrients. Yes. Awesome. Uh, let us know down below. Make sure you put a comment down. What is your favorite smoothie recipe? I would love to hear it. See what everyone else is doing out there with their smoothies. And can people find you somewhere else on social media? Um, on Facebook, if you want, uh, we'll have to create a link from, okay. from Thea's page to mine. Um, and ask me questions. I've got all kinds of different recipes up here that I try. I'm always willing to try new things too, especially when it comes to different fruits. Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Make it pretty, throw it all in there, see what kind of colors you get. It's really, it's really fun. 
do it with your kids. My niece loves it. She calls it her milkshake. It's like, <laughs> it's not really ice cream, but she she believes that it is ice cream. Yeah, she it loves can be a treat. Them. It can taste like a treat mm -hmm. for sure, and you can make it healthy. So yes, exactly. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to flex. Luke flexes me, Yes. Dance a little.